Hello everyone. Today we are going to read Let's Go Seed Collecting. The author is Neha Sumitran. The illustrator is Archana Srinivasan and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Let's Go Seed Collecting. Tuka and Poi love collecting things. Smooth pebbles from the riverside, twirly and tickly fern leaves, bright red buttons that have fallen from a school uniform. Tuka and Poi pick them all up. Every day they meet after school near the bendy coconut tree by the river and wait for their best friend. At five o'clock on the dot, Inji arrives, huffing and puffing like an old school bus. Inji is a friendly dog with eyes the color of chocolate and a tail that never stops wagging. Together, Tuka, Poi, and Inji walk, heads bent, scanning the gleaming road, the tufts of grass, and moss-covered rocks for interesting things to collect. Their favorite thing to collect are seeds. Tuka and Poi collect shiny red seeds that look like ladybirds, spiky burrs that stick to their clothes, and the giant bean-shaped pods of the copper pod tree. The pods make a delightful sound when Tuka and Poi shake it about. Poi loves to make up funny songs to go with the seed music. Inji is the best of dogs. She likes big flowers and little frogs and birds and seeds and ants and snails. But best of all, she loves her tail. Over and over, she sings these songs, making Tuka laugh and Inji bark happily. Tuka, Poi and Inji are sitting by the tamarind tree. Tuka's favorite seeds are the pudgy pods from around this tree. He loves to suck on its sour flesh until he gets to the shiny brown seeds inside. It makes Tuka's face scrunch up in funny ways and the hair on the back of his neck stands up. Suddenly, they hear a small squeaky voice say, Hello! Tuka and Poi look at each other puzzled. They can't see anybody. Up here, up here, they hear the voice say again. Tuka and Poi look up and down and all around, but there isn't a person in sight. It's me, Pacha. I'm the tamarind tree. Inji barks loudly and wags her tail faster than normal. Fut, 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 it goes back and forth. Why, hello, Inji, Pacha the tree says. I haven't seen you in days. Tuka and Poi become still as statues. Their eyes widen and their mouths freeze in big O shapes. Finally, Poi smiles shyly and says, 
Hello, Pacha the Tamarind Tree. It's nice to meet you. I'm Poi. Then she gives the tree a big hug. Pacha giggles. I have never been hugged by a little girl before. It feels tickly. And we've never met a talking tree before. Tuka says cheerfully. So this is an adventure for all of us. Hearing this, Pacha laughs loudly, making the leaves on his branches glow a brighter green. What are you two up to today? Pacha asks. They are collecting things, Tuka and Poi say. Tuka and Poi show Pacha the tree, their bag of flowers, pebbles and sticky tamarind. How lovely that you're collecting seeds, Pacha says. Do you know I came from one of those little tamarind seeds? And look at me now, all grown up with so many branches and a big family of sparrows and squirrels and crows living with me. What do you mean? Tuka asks. Inji barks enthusiastically. Bow, 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 Inji said, but Tuka is sure it sounds like how, how, how. Those seeds you are collecting, Pacha explains, they are all tree babies. They are? Poi asks, her eyebrows scrunched into squiggly black lines. Do all seeds grow into tamarind trees? Poi asks, trying to remember how many seeds she has at home. Oh no, Pacha replies. Seeds grow into all sorts of things. Do you have any fruit in your bag? Pacha asks. Tuka nods and pulls out a small red apple and a soggy banana. There you go, Pacha says excitedly. Now bite into the apple until you reach the center. You'll see little brown seeds sitting there. They are like shiny little bugs, says Poi. Aren't they pretty? Pacha asks. Those little seeds grow into apple trees. Now break the banana in half and see what you find, Pacha instructs. I see the seeds. Tuka says excitedly. They look like a sleeping millipede. Seeds come in all shapes and sizes, Pacha says while Inji gobbles the last of the apple. Are they all tree babies? Poi asks. Yes, says Pacha. And they all have a little plant inside waiting to come out and see the world. As Tuka, Poi and Inji walk home that evening, they look closely at all the trees along the road. How pretty the leaves of the coconut tree look as they dance in the wind. How beautiful the red gulmohar flowers are against the bright blue sky. How nice and rough the bark of the mango tree feels under their palms. And how wonderful that something as big and important as a tree starts out as a teeny weeny little seed. Tuka, Poi and Inji still meet every evening after school. 
But now, Tuka and Boy collect things in which they can plant the seeds they collect. Old shoes, empty coconut shells, even used plastic bottles. Everything can be turned into pots. And every once in a while, they stop by for a chat with Pacha the tree. I hope you enjoyed this story. Now let's read a little bit more about the different types of seeds. Pacha Super Seed Guide. Hello, I'm Pacha the tamarind tree, but I go by all sorts of names. I'm called Imli in Hindi, Puli in Tamil, and Tentul in Bengali. Scientists call me Tamarindus indica. Let me introduce you to some of my seed friends. You may have seen them on your dinner plate. So every plant in the world has a scientific name. It's a name that scientists call them by. For the tamarind tree, it is called Tamarindus indica. Now let's see some more about other types of seeds. Molag, common name red chili. Scientists call me capsicum anum. Chilies come in all shapes, sizes, and colors and are grown all over the world. Its seeds are small, circular, and flat and add spice to dal and bhaji. Careful when you touch them. They'll make your fingers burn. Kapi, common name, coffee. Scientists call me Coffea Arabica. You know the coffee your parents drink every morning? That comes from coffee berries. The seeds from the berries are dried, roasted, and then powdered. Coffee bushes grow best in hilly regions of South India. Chakka. Common name, jackfruit. Scientists call me Artocarpus heterophyllus. Berries, apples, bananas, watermelon, and jackfruit, all fruits have seeds in them. Some seeds we cannot eat, like that of the mango. Others, like the jackfruit, are used to make curries after they are soaked in water. Tenga, common name coconut. Scientists call me Cocos nucifera. Nearly every part of the hard brown coconut is useful to us. The hairy hard outside part is used to make rope. The fleshy inside is used in food. And the coconut water is a delicious drink, especially when it's hot outside. And the oil that you put in your hair, that comes from the coconut too. Kapalandi, common name peanut. Scientists call me Arrakis hypogea. All plants love soil, but peanuts love the earth so much that they grow underground. And that's why some people call them groundnuts. These little seeds are packed with goodness and are delicious when eaten raw, steamed, or roasted. Choru, 
common name rice. Scientists call me Oriza Sativa. Rice is one of the most popular grains. It's eaten in more homes in India than any other seed I know. On the plant, rice actually has a rough brown cover like a jacket which keeps the seed inside safe and sound. Chocolate. Common name, chocolate. Scientists call me Theobroma cacao, which means food of the gods. Rice might be the most popular seed, but cacao is definitely the most loved seed of all, especially by Tuka and Poi. The cacao seed is where chocolate comes from. Each cacao fruit has about 30 to 50 seeds that are roasted and then mixed with sugar and milk to make bars of delightful chocolate. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are tamarind pods, coffee beans, cacao chocolate fruit with seeds. Try these questions. Find trees around you and try to find their seeds. Write down what the seeds look like. Try to grow a plant from seeds at home in your kitchen. If possible, share photos of the plant.